Ellie, it is time. Restarting the league. It's so self-found. Ruthless. There's lots of things that are different with Ruthless. It says it's a significantly different game experience with extreme item scarcity, among other changes. For full information, check out pathofexile.com slash ruthless which is all in here um skill like support gems only can drop you can't get them from quest awards and things um all kinds of other changes here a lot of them related to maps and things uh like no free daily atlas missions no vault side areas no kindling or extilling orbs map modifiers don't provide rarity or pack sides um league spawn rate is 25 percent chance per map and you get one thing out of all the things so if you block a bunch of stuff you still only have one chance no pantheons uber lab doesn't give you a fourth ascendancy point no movement skills void stones don't upgrade the map atlas essences can only be used on normal items so there's lots that we're gonna have to figure out how to um, get through here so i'm excited to test it out there's a couple things that i'm not really keen on i think playing this more than once like this is my initial opinions on this i think playing this more than once is not going to be something that is desired by a lot of people without having movement skills in the game me as a content creator i do not like the fact these systems are disabled um i'd be fine with if there it was harder to access them like if you had to do an upgraded uber lab to get your fourth ascendancy and you had to do uber lab to get your third ascendancy even i'd be okay with stuff like that i'd be okay if the pantheon you had to kill the bosses in a t16 map to upgrade it and things like that just so while it can be harder for me to achieve the things i have the same possibilities of character creation that others do in the main game so that i can create something of similar power Hour, though i'd have to work harder for it if that makes any kind of sense that's just my initial takeaway on it I i'm still gonna play it um we're gonna see how it goes so we need to pick a character i don't know which i'm gonna pick i know a lot of people are playing cold dot and i'm so i'm gonna try and stray away from that everybody i've seen playing this has been playing cold dot so um let's do this here oh, i need to make it smaller so it's not under my face all right let's spin what are we playing All right, the wheel said ranger. Ranger it is. Okay, so I do not have access to loot filters. That's something I'm probably going to be working on like immediately. Um, I understand they don't want people to like use their loot filters, but I very distinctly color all the items and things the way that I do. So I, I want that. I want my currency to show up green. I want my gems to show up yellow. I, I want my rare items to be purple, like in every other game that is not Diablo and Path of Exile. Just simple things like that. Oh, the chest is not here. We don't get support gem or the burning arrow. I don't think the game is going to be any harder. It's just going to have some strange things with it due to uh, the changes they made with item scarcity. None of the bosses are going to be crazy like gauntlet mods or whatnot. And I've also still have not touched the Sanctum mechanics, so I'm going to be toying around with that a lot in this because I believe it's still going to spawn in every zone. So I'll do that. Okay, what do we got here? So I still get access to all the jewels. I just played Caustic Arrow in the last four days. So I'm going to take Galvanic Arrow. We're going to mess with that. Purchasing items. Everything is costing a transmute. Okay, so we do not get to purchase items here. It looks like. Um, I don't know what Grislam Shards are going to do for me. All right, we got a Galvanic Arrow. No jewelry in here. No, no gems. So I only get the quest awards. That's interesting. Okay. I like the idea of this because it could happen in this video even that I get gems for another build and want to re-roll immediately. Like I can see myself having a full arsenal of characters in this. A transmutation costs 15 portal scrolls. I don't think that's normal. So a magic item costs an alteration in here. Okay, here we go. A galvanic arrow has a nice AoE cone to it so you can hit multiple targets with it. Hey, a plate vest. I'll take it. Scale vest is better all right made it to the submerged passage we still get skills yes we do a bear trap puncture boss or shrapnel ballistas shrapnel ballistas so good i can put a bunch of those down at once so i guess i shouldn't sell this burning arrow just in case and it still is yet to be seen if i spend the points i have in here on the gym stash tab that I don't have or a, another character slot. I don't know which I'm gonna require first. Okay, flask still costs wisdom scrolls. That's good. Can't get a better bow either. Unless we get a transmute. So if we farm up 45 wisdom scrolls, we can have a transmute and pick an item of choice. 
Hey, that's a magic item. All right, heal rate's still going down just fine. Most of the totems just having the extra bit. Armor scrap, portal scroll. Okay, we still get a quick silver. Quick silver did not fill here. Okay, selling an unidentified goat hide buckler is gonna give me two scroll fragments. Armor scrap sells to me two wisdom scrolls. Identifying this gives me a single transmutation shard instead of alt shards. But that's a step towards an item that I can get. And then I think I just go ahead and get another mana flask. No, can't do that. Need more wisdom scrolls. Ooh, I just picked up a short bow that has quality on it. 7 to 18 from 5 to 13 with faster attack speed. Just please. Hey, that is a rare pair of boots with movement speed and rarity. All right, well, if I were to vendor a rare item or transmutation shards and an alchemy shard, seems pretty nice. Um, red, green, blue linked still is giving me a chrome. Large mana flask. Yes, please. Another rare item already. Uh, it's a staff. It does spell damage. Now I wonder, like, do I save that? Because if I were to switch to a spell build right now, that's my best item. So I have to identify a magic item to get... Oh, that one gave me two. I had two mods on it. That's a lot of transmutation shards. That has 72 mana on it, though. I gotta save it. Okay. So, instead of getting my support gem here, I have access to a magic chest item. I can get fire res, life, or evasion. I think I want the armor evasion finally i got a quiver that's a lot of extra damage i wanted for this what i can buy a hybrid flask that's cool now i've gotten sucked into this thing a lot but i have not interacted with this mechanic at all all that i've seen of the new mechanic is from a new player to the game and the genre really who has had like three play sessions and like eight hours in to make it to the early parts of act two i saw him messing around with it but i don't know what any of this stuff does i think i go to this one first contains minor treasure reward i want to see what this is going to give me here in ruthless or if this is even something possible i take it you probably like don't want to get hit i think that's how you lose resolve <gasps> an iron ring yo <laughs> worth instantly worth Templar cash drops aureus okay Whoa, you came out of nowhere. Room complete. So I got hit twice. Oh, is there just like a boss of the room? I didn't have to full clear it. If I get hit after the room's cleared, do I still lose resolve? Not that I'm trying to find out. I think this is going to be really hard without a movement skill. So it just takes me back. Oh, I get Templar caches here. So it just drops a bunch of Aureus. So I guess this is the treasure reward room that I was going towards. Okay. Okay, this is a different looking room. Okay, so now I get different options. I can see what comes next. Jane's Meyer Treasure Reward, but this one looks you with Gargoyle Totem, Fiendish Wings, Purple Smoke, or Rapid Quicksand. Traps are faster. Monsters have increased speed. Guards are accompanied by Gargoyle. I'm going to go for this one. Fiendish Wings. Oh, it looks like, okay. So there's an array of doors here. I see. Defeat all the guards. And it's fiendish wings. So if my totem gets hit, that's okay. I guess these guys don't count as guards, maybe. Okay, there's something. Large life flask. That's cool. I'm also doing this in the mud flats, and I'm level 10. Just because I didn't want to get overwhelmed by this. There's no time limit, so I can be as careful as I need to be in here. Try and let the totems do the work so I don't lose the resolve. Is there any purpose to the skulking wretch? He's just going to... Sit here and derp out in the corner. Okay, a bunch more Aureus. I guess I could just keep doing this over and over. There's only two rooms from here that I can go to. and leads me to Fountain. Major Treasure may offer items. This looks like I keep the Affliction, probably. I think that's what the purple thing is. And going to this one will allow me to get to this offering of items. That's where I want to go. So I'm going to go through here. Okay, yeah, seen this fire thing. Whoa. Totems are really nice bait. Hmm. I get around this trap, I guess. It is quick. Now, can I, like, disable this thing? Okay, I picked up the Aureus through the wall. There's another enemy. Okay, just more of them just spawn. Okay, this is the one that kept hitting me last time. Pack that totems! Oh, and there's the gargoyle. It's really weird how stuff just randomly spawns through the room. Okay, so you can store rooms for later. 
No relic effects. All right, let's see what these items are. If I did that, I can make it through this. That looks like some kind of trap on the ground. Yeah, looks like that's a trap, but I can trigger it and then back off. Cool. Traps cannot trigger, or my totem cannot trigger it. Oh, Undying Archmage did a lot of damage to me. Took a lot of resolve off. Come on, yes, hit him. I need to get the totems further over. There we go. I guess it doesn't react to totems. This is not like me putting my mouse over on this wall. It tries to push me to the other side. Okay, there's the gargoyle. Okay, made it out of there. What is this then? Huh? It did say made contain items. May offer items. I guess it just didn't. Okay. Unless I missed something there. Which very, very much could be a ruthless thing. Yeah, it says may offer items on completion. Contains benevolent fountain. Or I keep going, for, try to go for the items. I'm going to try that again. Hey, an amulet. Look at that. Okay, alternating rune traps. I don't I don't like this like shrouded enemies spawning by in behind me. Do I have to kill that thing? Get out of here? I found the exit. That one was fine. And again, nothing I can do with this. Could have something to do with them all. I'm also in Act 1 and in Ruthless. So if this is not gonna offer me items, I need to see what this benevolent fountain is. Eat all the guards. So there's another flamethrower trap room. And okay, where's the next one? There it is. Very odd. Over there. <gasps> Not fair. An off screamy with a ground project, like a ground AoE. That's crazy. I think the gargoyle's still over there. Oh no, it's it's. And there we go. Well, I guess I don't get to see what the benevolent fountain is. But that was my first attempt ever at the sanctum. Felt it was finally time to check it out, and I got a ring and an amulet out of there. I, that's one thing I love about this already. It's like. I dropped an iron ring and it's super exciting. It's really cool. I don't think we're going to have any shortage of that kind of feeling playing through this. Wow, these attacks they have look so cool. It's very telegraphed. It's fairly easy to dodge. This enemy has no regard for the fact these totems are wailing on it. It will come after me. A shrine. Have to pay Orius, I guess, to re recover 25% resolve. Fine. Okay. Fountains are cool. Not really worried about Brutus. I kill Brutus with these ballista totems all the time. I guess I should use the burning arrow too. It does more damage against a single target. Easy. Drop me a rare item. I think Brutus is too long of a run back to uh, want to farm. I probably just use this life accuracy mana and lightning res. I don't. It's not like I need the sockets. And then for a Brutus kill, it's gonna give me mirror arrow and precision. What else would it have given me here? I know it gives blink arrow. Just blink arrow and smoke mine precision. Oh, they don't drop anything anymore. Your chainmail vest does not have life. Does not have socket colors I could use. Probably vendor it. Yeah, another reading. Mana ring. Now here's an interesting prospect. Longbow. Lower attack speed, bigger hit damage. Like double hit damage, or up to double hit damage. Yeah, it feels fine. Alright, rewards for reaching Cavern of Wrath. Toxic Rain, Rain of Arrows, Lightning Arrow, Reeve, Poisonous Concoction, Ellie Hit, Siege Ballista, or Lightning Strike. Siege Ballista fires arrows that Pierce six additional targets. And then the Shrapnel Ballista fires a bunch of arrows, but it has 38.6 base attack damage, whereas this has a hundred percent. Picking the Siege Ballista, I've never used this skill, but it's probably better than all the others. Lightning Arrow isn't gonna do much for me, I don't think. It can chain, but the Galvanic Arrow already like it fires enemies in a cone. And fires two additional arrows, so like it's really easy to hit a lot of stuff with the galvanic arrow. I think I'd rather use it. So let's let's try a siege ballista out. Probably gonna be a lot of this throughout this series as well. 
Like, what does this skill do? Never seen it before. I'm all for it. Yeah, they do look a little different. Looks a little bit nicer in the construction. It's even got wheels. All right. What you got? Now they're probably better for a single target, but against a lot of enemies, I might be better off with the other ballistas. So, you know what? Maybe it's worth it just to have them both. And I've required a transmute. Do I buy a bow and transmute the bow? All right, well, no, if I buy a bow, I can't transmute the bow. So do I transmute my bow? Do I transmute my quiver? Do I get a better quiver that gives me fire damage? I feel like my chances of dropping a, a fire arrow quiver are pretty decent. I think I used the transmute on the bow, actually. Look at that. 62% fizz damage. Ooh. All right, then on the passive tree, I pushed down here to get one with nature as I did not like my chances of getting any elemental resistances at all. So there's eight all res. We'll take it. Next best chance is getting up here for the mastery or survivalist having some resistances. So as these have the same attack speed, feels like this siege ballista fires so slowly. A sapphire ring right before murder veil. Doing the Sanctum has definitely pe been paying off. I dropped a gym! It's a Siege Ballista! Ah. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. This game is trolling me. I, I can't, I can't believe that. Nevelet Fountain. Costs 150, gain a random boon. Next time you go below 20% resolve, heal. 50 resolve. I think I also restored some of my resolve. Cool. More real time. It's gonna be easy because I got a sapphire ring. So no real issues here. I just tried to use a movement skill. I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with that button on my mouse. I mean every game that I've like played, I will make my little movement thing. Even in Walson, all we had was a dodge roll, but I put a dodge roll on my mouse button. There we go, Mervale down. I don't know if I want to farm Mervale either. I feel like at some point I'm going to have to farm, especially if I'm going to keep playing with a bow build. Like, I'm going to need to scale damage somehow. But it also makes me really happy I didn't pick Caustic Arrow because I would have no way to scale that damage. This guy, though, I could farm. Hail of Headstaver and refresh the Southern Forest. I mean, he just dropped me a blue item. So, I mean, what do you got? And literally respawn this guy like instantly two items it comes with a blue pack this time hey okay, shark tooth eat life on hit i don't think i'm having an issue but spell cascade support i have a support gym currently unusable but we got something got me two items again two items and a flask just one item that time though one item Item again. Two items. One that time. They okay, only a magic item the first time through, but has dropped one or two items every time and dropped me a gym. So I wouldn't say it's the best. I, I'd say it's probably better than running back on Mervale since it's so available right here. Rock Unique dropped me three items, one magic. It's not a far run back from the town, too. It's further than Aleph. I've also got Bravalo over here, just to the right of the crossroads waypoint. Up two items. Let's see what this Divinia quest is. I skipped this on my first playthrough. This rare enemy dropped me a rare chainmail vest. Ooh, that shield is insane. Okay, shield's getting saved. Composite bow. I augment, or I transmuted my bow though. So yeah, just finding a white bow is not going to cut it anymore. Vinia did not want to come in the crypt. Ooh, a transmute dropped? Oh boy. I found the sanctum thing. Is this what we're trying to do? Yeah, she came in here. Afflicted fountain. Not always taking the room you quest. I want to try an afflicted fountain. How do I go? Door didn't open. Is this not what I was looking for here? Alright, UI. Nice tracking. Help Divinia find the Sanctum entrance outside in the Feldshrine Cathedral. 
And here's another one. That's it. She gives me a relic. Gain 35 inspiration at the start of the sanctum? I don't know what that does. Is this a relic locker? Yes. Okay, so I already have a run started, I think. So I can't put anything in it, if I understand correctly. Din rewards do not give me belts. Can get a bismuth flask, though. Probably worth taking. Didn't offer me a second Quicksilver, either. That sucks. Another pair of rare boots? Oof. I'll keep my 6% rarity. I wonder if the chisel recipe is still available. I'm gonna pick up the stone hammer just in case. Got a relic locker I can use now. I don't like this room. Actually seems easier just to stay in the middle and stay behind it. Your attacks are all so slow. Okay, what's an afflicted fountain? 50% resolve, gain a random minor affliction. Cannot recover resolved. Moved after killing next floor ba boss. When you gain affliction, gain a random minor affliction, so I gain another one. The traps are faster. Ooh, magic recurve bow? There's some big potential there. 6 to 12 flat, 21 to 57 with slower speed and crit multi and a higher crit chance. It says the DBS is way higher on it, so sure, we'll go with it. Okay, I'm up to two transmutes now. Get and transmute a pair of gloves. Gloves could mean extra damage. I think I transmute the ring. It's the most recent item I got, so it has the higher potential for mods. Look at that. Five to seven fire to attacks. It's a big deal. Oh, and there's a better quiver as well. Okay, so then I transmute this quiver. Nine percent attack speed. Okay. I wonder if that affects the attack speed on my totems. 1.27, 1.35, it does. I am level 22, about to enter the Chamber of Sins. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I've been doing the Sanctum. And here's 15 Alras. And there's a leather belt. We have all item slots equipped in Ruthless in Act 2. Helmet, Fire Res Rarity, Mana I Lose Life. I think it's worth though because Rarity is a big deal. Fast energy shield recharge and an energy shield aura. Chasing this necro down has been a pain. It, it is very fast at the ES recharge. Oh, okay, here we go. Veracath, the waxen, must be the candle boss. And I've got 253. Damage is doing okay. Oh. Go. My underling will deal with you. No, don't hit me with the fire. I command the waxen one. You shall fall. Come on, get him. No! 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 <laughs> what was it? That chains of binding. I didn't have a way to break the chains with a frost plank or something. Okay. My damage felt okay for that. But this time I can bring along a relic. I have no clue what inspiration does, but the thing we have now. Maybe it's like an energy shield for my. Resolve. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, it dropped my inspiration. Another leather bolt. One has five more life. Okay. Ensnaring arrow, blood rage, or frenzy. No herald options. Ensnared enemies take 15% increased projectile damage from attack hits and lowers movement speed. Maximum of three snares per enemy. Snaring enemies is good for the totems. I think I take an ensnaring arrow. Ensnaring arrow is very good. Just locks down these enemies. Rare boots. Still no items here. I cannot get across this broken bridge. So I gotta go around. 31 to 53 fire damage. What? 
208 to 329 DPS. That's awesome. Wow, I just realized the Quicksilver Flask only has a two second duration. Wow, Creighton died so fast. And Snaring Arrow with Siege Bliss does. I think I'm gonna kill Alira too. Tempting, but Alira dies. Four passives now. This is extra cold. I have to get the mastery for the conversion. I'm thinking since I've scaled so much elemental damage, I need to convert stuff. Here's conversion, lightning damage. I'm really worried about making mistakes on this passive tree because I don't know how much access I'm going to have to regrets. That's why I feel like if I get the gems for something, I'm just going to have to reroll a new character. All right, does Silk give me a quest award? Oh, Silk gives me a magic belt. Okay, I'll take that. Plus eight max ES. Incer relic. First relic I've seen drop off an enemy. Chests have a chance to drop double Aureus coins and more inspiration. And here I get my first merchant. She shows up. Purchase relic so I can gain 50 resolve. Gain max resolve. Monsters have reduced life. Now, I'm not worried about the damage they deal because resolve is going to kill me before dying does. I think it should take a reduce the life here maximum resolve doesn't do anything for me if i can't fill it back up so i should probably just get the resolve the recipe here is gone get another attempt at this boss and it has 30 percent reduced monster life I command the waxen one. You shall fall. Well, this guy seems like you just kind of stay behind him when he breathes farther he does breathe it around him so you can't be on top of him but there we go and look at that. Rare items. Relic altar slots unlocked. Double damage on gloves. Cool. Chest has life and lightning res. Big upgrade in armor and evasion. Awesome. Can you be tempted? I sure can. Oh, there's no you get it here. Reward. Only at the end of next floor. Okay, sure. Two chromatics at the end of this floor. Should I make it? So I wonder if something like this is what's like not showing up on the rewards of the may contain item hey, a double strike i can probably get that as a quest reward in act one or wait does duelist even start with double strike even all right of all time i've definitely fought vol with support gems and less damage than this so like i think i'm doing pretty okay I think the biggest thing so far is just like I was really smart to take Galvanic Arrow at the start because it has this cone that it hits stuff in. So I have decent AoE clear. Okay, so that's interesting. So Einhar showed up in town. No Einhar missions spawned, but he did not show up in my hideout. This one has experiment experimentation chamber. It means Braum and Uzar the experiments. So if I can complete that, I get two chromatics. This is a very different layout zone here. Ooh, there's rolling fireballs here too. Ooh, here, resolve cannot be lost in the next room. Interesting. 50% more damage. The boons are very cool. I want the 50% more damage. So now I have monsters, have less life, and I do more damage. Hey, here's Einhar. Yo, let's go. Whoa. I know uniques here. Lots of flask crafts. I can create a chrysalis talisman. Convert uniques into other uniques. This is still here. Okay, so what's a chrysalis talisman? Okay, so one, this doesn't specify a rare chrysalis talisman, just chrysalis talisman. Chrysalis talisman grants 20 to 30 percent increased spell damage. I could do it to see if it is rare. Though the spell damage doesn't really help me. Alrighty then, what's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, okay. I guess you can use it at level 1. It's extra spell damage, I guess. Well, I wonder if there's any like recipes we could use with talismans. I like the idea that it's giving talismans. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to toy with it more. A jeweler's orb as well. That's a first. Portal 
the gems you could give me. Oh my god. What is this game? Unless a portal gem is just really common to account for the lack of portal scrolls or something. I don't know. But I have a portal gem and you best believe I'm going to use it. I'm going to be using these portal scrolls to buy transmutes. And I could be having a very different experience through this just because of that right here. And I'm dead. And portal out. <laughs> what do we have here? First enemies take increased damage from projectile hits and split towards three additional enemies. That's pretty good. Frenzy charge, additional physical damage. Assassin's Mark. Spare doesn't work. Alchemist Mark. I still don't, don't quite understand this. Sniper's Mark. Use Siege Ballista. Yes, it does work with the Siege Ballista. The Sniper's Mark. A rare enemy. There we go. I thought since they pierced, it wouldn't chain but they do chain so that's actually a pretty big upgrade okay that's cool so i can sniper's mark and then ensnaring arrow and that will chain to enemies and ensnare them all uh, i think i gotta do this decanter quest just to see what it gives so i for real, i need you guys to tell me if in the regular league you have seen this item offering never show up with anything I'm assuming this is giving me the option for the take an item now, end of the zone or into the sanctum. And it's just a um, ruthless thing. It's not showing up. That's at this point my best guess. Plus one all fizz gems on a shield. That's something I got to hold on to. A creeping frost. It's interesting. It's actually useful. It's a good skill. Interesting. Okay, so here I get a magic amulet but normally it is the case that all of them have the same implicit role this one's 27 this one's 27 but this one's 21 for the lapis amulet i find that odd i'll, I'll take the am amulet but that's strange okay. physical damage to attacks okay i dropped an agate amulet that's probably worth using a transmute on a siosa quest reward gives me an uncarved gemstone and trade this to siosa for a skill gem of my choosing. Oh man. No support gems. Should I go kill Gravisius and see if he gives anything before purchasing something there? Okay, that gives me a bunch of stuff here, which gives me a Storm Rain, which I've thought about trying to use. Explosive Concoction, no. Wild Strike, Blast Rain, Tornado Shot, Scourge Arrow, something I've never used, but that's Chaos, Poison. And blade flurry or artillery ballista. I think I'm gonna take the storm rain just so I have it. I think you need additional projectiles before that's any kind of good. And that's more of a single target thing. At least my burning arrow. And I could get a pyroclast mine. That skill could wreck. I almost am feeling like I save it because I, I just don't know what I would use it for. I need support gems more than anything else. Like another aura would be solid. Looks like the auras aren't here actually. There's no Wrath, no Zealotry. Is there no Grace? Okay, so yeah, if we want Auras, we're gonna have to get them elsewhere. There's a Steel Skid. Fire's a melee weapon for Ancestral Protector. That's fair. Ooh, I can grab a Tornado. Actually, I might be able to get that in after four. Tornado's really good. Yeah, I think I just hold on to the Uncarved Gemstone for now. So it would seem like Temporal Rift wasn't in there either, because I, I searched for Aura. Maybe that's a reservation thing. What about something like Tempest Shield and or even like a phase run something? You put a mark on this mass combatant that like splits into mirror images. Uh, you can keep an eye on where he is, which one's the real one really easily. Rare Lapis Amulets, one to five lightning, 8% rarity. That's good. Sapphire Flask. All right, what does Fairgraves have for us out here? It rings. Okay, magic ring. Extra six life for one to four physical damage. I don't know. I hate this guy. It's deadly blade dancer, but if you just always move behind him and let him strike at you, you can you can dodge all of his attacks. This has been the toughest one to figure out so far. Hey, a ballista totem support? You've got to be kidding me. No way. What? 
Storm Raid totems would be insane. I don't have a socket for it, but okay, I gotta start leveling that. That's like the perfect support gem for this. Wow. Support gem number two is insanely useful. I was really settling in on the idea of messing with the Siege Ballistas, but Storm Rain, an additional totem. Rare chest, life, lightning res, and some strength. I don't have the strength to put it on at the moment. Alrighty time. It's a lot of work to get this going. I gotta get the mark off, and then I gotta get three ensnaring arrows in the enemy, then I can attack. And then I gotta make sure the totems stay up. It's crazy, but like look at the damage though. I'm I'm impressed. Need more ensnaring arrows and more totems. And then I'm gonna storm marine. Oh, but she moved. Boom. ID down. And I don't have to use portal scroll because I got a portal. Okay, doing a lab. We had a lab with a trove. That one dropped nothing. Here we go. Blunt arrow quiver with extra fire damage to attacks. Damage says 606 to 741. I'm looking at this right now without a movement skill and crying inside a little bit. You don't get... Oh, no, I do get an extra treasure key. Freaking loot filter, man. It shows up like it's just a common currency item. Like, ah. It's okay. That's getting changed before the next episode of this hey an augmentation that's a first using my belt for maybe some resists probably save it though Ooh, that's a chest beef scarb no life but good evasion with two resists i lose lightning it hurts me on lightning i have i do have a ruby ring there's lightning i need more i need cold res most for climbing dominus but lightning for the fight itself i got like nothing from the silver chest Ooh, a rare penetrating quiver I'd be surprised if this is better than the one I just got. Yeah, projectile speed, life. Ah. Okay, silver chest number two. Garbage. Hey, okay, Azar down. Two treasure keys, two magic items. Or two rare items. No movement speed. And I have four keys. More keys. Nope. Wisdom scroll. Hey, chrome transmute augmentation. Ooh. Okay. Twice blessed. Word of blades on hit. Sure. Word of spite when hit. Oh, I'd prefer the on hit because I actually am pretty good at dodging stuff. So here we obviously have to go dead eye with what we've got going on. So this projectile barrages have no spread. Projectile speed here. So that also gives me extra damage. Chain. I want two additional projectiles for sure for Storm Rain. I think the far shot is ideal and then the last one we get is gathering winds for the tailwind and since we can't get like all we're really doing is losing the damage or there's the mark take far shot i mean i guess since i have two augments now i guess i augment the belt or stun and block recovery i still don't want to transmute this ring it's gonna have so low stats being level four all right let's go do dominus all right here we go dominus fight i'm not particularly worried about this because my damage is pretty solid Lightning res, though, is not. Though I do have a bismuth flask. Oh, wow. Okay. Already two rare items here. This is not a far run back either. Like, this is actually farmable. Dark Pact? Oh, yeah. This is a really good boss to farm. Though, you cannot get all of the gems from this. Your, like, higher tier support gems are only item level 38 and above. All right, what you got for me? Oh yeah, I gotta stand still because of corrupting blood. I wonder if I can storm rain, if it's actually any good. Oh, I forgot the ensnaring arrow. Now we storm rain. Not bad. And without precision, I guess. Three rares and. Magic boots. Pretty solid. Ooh. Okay. So now we got a decision. This bone ring has 11 rarity and then stuff from minions that doesn't affect me. Is that better than 1 to 4 physical damage? I think it is. 11% rarity. That's kind of seems like a no-brainer to me. I did lightning damage support. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh boy. Things are coming along. Like, how have I found so much stuff for the build that I'm playing that's useful? It it's amazing. Definitely never used Dark Pact. Okay, so of anything that I try and recolor for a blue socket, it's probably these gloves. Well, there we go. Okay, so we put added lightning damage on 
Galvanic Arrow, and on Siege Ballista. It's a fat upgrade. Okay, well, we made it to Act 4. Six hours, 19 minutes played. Say things are coming along pretty well. We'll continue this tomorrow. Hope you join along. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.